Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are healthy and safe at your home. I am Shweta Jain representing Shiv Jyoti Educational Group Kota. So children, today I am here to teach you science and we will do the revision of chapter number 13, the sun, moon and stars and chapter number 14 that is the earth. So let us first start with chapter number 13, the sun, moon and stars. So points to remember in this chapter are the sun, the moon and the stars. Now we will come to your book. So all of you open your books, page number 106, chapter number 13, the sun, moon and stars. Chilin, sun is a big ball of fire. It rises in the east and sets in the west. It gives us heat and light. Plants use sunlight to make their food. The sun is surrounded by eight planets. These planets go around the sun in their fixed paths which are called as orbits and a round object that moves around the sun in an orbit is called as planet. Now the eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune and you have to learn these names in this sequence only. The Sun, 8 planets and their moons together form our solar system. The planet Earth on which we live is the third planet of our solar system. Among all the 8 planets, the Earth is the only planet which supports life. Planets do not have light of their own, they reflect the sunlight that falls on them. This makes them glow. Now we come to moon. Moon is a natural satellite of the earth. A satellite is an object that goes around a planet. So the moon goes around the earth. It takes 28 days to complete one revolution around the earth. The moon is the earth's closest neighbor in the sky. So children, which is the closest neighbor of the earth in the sky? It is the moon. It does not have its own light. It glows because sunlight falls on it. Now, huge holes are found on the surface of moon. These holes are called as craters. Now the moon appears to change its shape every night. Whenever there is full moon, it is called as Purnima and whenever there is no moon, that is, it is called as New Moon or Amavasya and the different shapes of the moon that we see are called phases of the moon and here you can see the different phases of the moon, New Moon, when we cannot see the moon in the sky, Crescent Moon, Quarter Moon, Half Moon, Gibbous Moon and Full Moon when we see the complete moon in the sky. So now we come to the stars. So children, stars are huge balls of fire. They have their own light. The sun is also a star. The sun appears big because it is closest star to the earth. So what is the closest star to the earth? It is sun. Stars are very far away so they look tiny. Some people enjoy watching the moon and stars in the night sky using the instrument which is called as telescope. So telescope is an instrument which is used to see far off objects like stars, moon and planets. Now some stars form patterns or shapes in the sky. These patterns are called as constellations. So constellations are the patterns of stars in the sky. Some of the constellations are the Great Bear which is also called as Ursa Major and the Orion which is also called as the Hunter. These are the two examples of constellations. So children this is all about the explanation part. Now we will revise the book work. So let us come to the first exercise that is fill in the blanks with the correct words. Now you can see here some words are given in the blank. Now you can see here some words are given in the help box so we will use these words. We see the dash shining in the sky during day. So what do we see during the daytime? It is sun. So we have written here sun. The dash is the third planet of our solar system. So which is the third planet of our solar system? It is earth. Then there are dash planets in the solar system. So children there are eight planets in the solar system. The dash does not have its own light. So here moon does not have its own light. It reflects the light of sun. That's why it glows. 
all dash go around the sun so all planets go around the sun now we come to the next exercise that is tick the correct answer first our solar system consists of eight planets sun moons or stars so children here we have eight planets in our solar system the only planet which supports life so earth is the only planet which supports life because earth has air and water which of the following has light of its own the moon a planet a star a satellite so here a star has its own light but the moon a planet and a satellite they do not have their own light huge holes found on the surface of moon are called so these holes which are found on the surface of moon they are called as craters the great bear is a great bear is a group of stars forming a pattern so it is called as constellation now we come to the next exercise write t for true and f for false statements so the sun is the farthest from the earth is it the correct statement no this is an incorrect statement because sun is the closest star to the earth a telescope is used to see nearby object this is also an incorrect statement because telescope is used to see far off objects the moon is the earth's closest neighbor this is the correct answer because moon is the natural satellite of the earth the sun is a big ball of fire this is also a correct statement that's why it gives out heat and light we see the sun shining in the sky during day this is also a correct statement now we come to the next exercise that is exercise number c name the following so children things you see in the clear night sky so what do we see in the clear night sky there are stars and moon number of planets present in our solar system so there are eight planets in our solar system natural satellite of the earth so here the moon is the natural satellite of the earth number of days the moon takes to go around the earth so children moon takes 28 days to complete one re revolution around the earth now we come to the next exercise let's do exercise number a look at the picture below and label the planets so here we can see the first planet is mercury second is venus third is earth fourth is mars fifth planet is jupiter it is the largest planet sixth planet is saturn seventh is uranus and eighth planet is neptune Now we come to exercise number B look at the pictures and fill in the blanks so here you can see this is the picture of sun so the dash is a big ball of fire sun is the big ball of fire it rises in the east and sets in the west it gives us dash and dash so sun gives us heat and light second picture you can see here this is the picture of moon the dash is our closest neighbor in the sky so children moon is our closest neighbor in the sky it takes 28 days to go around the earth now here in this picture we can see so many tiny stars are there so we see tiny dash in the sky so what do we see we see stars in the sky and we use a dash to see star so children the instrument which we use to see star is telescope so children this was all about the revision of book work now we will revise the copy work so we will start with definitions so first define is solar system the sun eight planets and their moons together form the solar system now we come to the next definition it is satellite so an object that goes around a planet is called satellite So children now we come to answer the following why is there no life on the moon so answer is there is no life on the moon because there is no air and water next question is do planets have light of their own why do they glow so answer is no planets do not have their own light they glow because they reflect sun's light falling on them So question number 3 is what are stars why do they look tiny answer is stars are huge balls of fire they look tiny because they are 
very far away. So children, this was all about the revision of chapter number 13. Now we will revise chapter number 14, the earth. So points to remember are the earth, how the earth was formed, shape of the earth, movements of the earth, rotation and revolution. So children, all of you open your books, page number 113. Okay, so let us come to the chapter. We live on the earth. So the planet where we live it is earth. The earth is the third planet of our solar system. It is the only planet to have life on it. Now the earth is home to plants, animals and human beings. It is made up of land, water and air. So three things which earth has are land, water and air. Water is found in oceans, rivers and lakes. The earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air which is called as atmosphere. So the thin layer of air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. Atmosphere has many gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. Earth receives proper amount of light from sun and the presence of air and water makes life possible on the earth. So due to the presence of air air and water it is possible to live on earth now we come to how the earth was formed so children in the beginning the earth was very hot later on it cooled down slowly and then clouds formed and which these clouds then caused rain slowly the living organisms started appearing on the earth now here long ago people thought that the earth was flat but the photographs of the earth taken by astronauts from space showed that earth is round. So children what is the shape of the earth? It is round in shape and the people who go into the space are called as astronauts. Now we come to movements of the earth. So children, earth is moving all the time. It shows two types of movements. One is rotation and another one is revolution. So when the earth spins about an imaginary line which passes through its center, the, uh, the imaginary line which passes through the center of the earth from the north pole to the south pole is called as axis of the earth. So what is axis? It is the imaginary line that passes through the center of the earth from north pole to the south pole and the spinning movement of the earth on its axis is called as rotation. The earth rotates from west to east. The earth rotates on its axis all the time and it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation and 24 hours makes one day. The rotation of the earth causes day and night. Now, the another type of movement of earth is revolution. The earth goes around the sun in a fixed path and that fixed path is called as orbit. So, the fixed path on which earth moves around the sun is called as earth's orbit and the movement of the earth around the sun in an orbit is called revolution. The earth takes 365 days to complete one revolution. 365 days make one year. The revolution of the earth causes seasons. So this is all about the explanation part. Now we will revise the book work. So let us come to the first exercise. It is write T for true and F for false statements. So first is we live on the earth. So this is the correct statement. The earth does not receive sunlight. This is the wrong statement because earth receives light from the sun. The earth is round. This is also the correct statement because the shape of the earth is round. The earth has land, water and air. This is also the correct statement. The earth is surrounded by a thin layer of water called atmosphere. Now children, this is not the correct statement because the earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air and that layer of air is called as atmosphere. Now we come to the next exercise. Take the correct answer. First, the shape of the earth is similar to a paper, pencil, football or box. So children, shape of the earth is round. Uh, from here we can see that football is round in shape. So it resembles to football. In the beginning, the earth was very cold, hot, wet or airy. So children, in the beginning, earth was very hot. Later in it... Later on it become cool. The earth rotates from west to 
north, west, east or south. So children earth rotates from west to east. Next 365 days make one week, day, month or year. So 365 days is the time taken by earth to revolve around the sun in its own orbit and it is equals to one year. Rotation of the earth causes seasons, summer, days and nights or days and seasons. So children rotation of earth causes day and night and revolution of earth causes seasons. Now we come to the next exercise fill in the blanks with the correct words. So here words are given in the blank. So here words are given in the help box so we can take help of these words. The earth is the dash planet of our solar system. So which planet it is? third planet. The earth is dash. So children earth is round. Revolution of the earth causes seasons. As I have told you right now rotation causes day and night and revolution causes seasons. The earth takes dash to complete one rotation. So it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. The earth receives dash from the sun. So earth receives light from the sun. Now we come to exercise number C, name the following. So the movement causing days and nights, it is rotation. The things which make life possible on the earth, these are air and water. Two types of movements of the earth, so these movements are rotation and revolution. Now we come to the next ex exercise. Look at the pictures given below and fill in the blanks. Here you can see this is the picture of the rotation movement of the earth and this is the picture of the revolution movement of the earth. Here earth is rotating around its own axis so here we will write rotation. It causes dash and dash so it causes days and nights. It takes dash hours to complete one dash so it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. Dash hours make a day so 24 hours make one day. Here this is the movement of earth around the sun. This is revolution. It causes seasons. It takes 365 days to complete one revolution. Dash days make one year. So 365 days make one year. So children this is all about the revision of your book work. Now we will revise the copy work. So let us start with definitions. First definition is rotation. The spinning movement of the earth on its axis is called rotation. Next definition is revolution. So the movement of the earth around the sun in its orbit is called revolution. Now let us come to answer the following. So question number one is why does the earth appear flat to us? So children the earth appears flat to us because we can see only a tiny part of it. Next is question number two. How long does the earth take to complete one revolution? So answer is the earth takes 365 days to complete one revolution. Question number 3 is what causes seasons on the earth? So answer is the revolution of the earth causes seasons. So children this is all about the revision of chapter number 13 and 14. I hope you all have understood it well. So go through the chapter well and learn the copy work and book work thoroughly and be prepared for your coming exams. Till then have a nice day. Thank you.